It's championship season for South Carolina swimming and diving. I'm Brad Muller, joined by head coach McGee Moody. The Gamecocks getting set for the SEC championships at Auburn, Alabama. And coach, I know it's always an exciting time for you guys. This is what you build up for all season long. I guess let's talk a little bit about momentum you guys might have going into SEC championships. Yeah, and swimming and diving, the NCAA level is a really long season. And, uh, and so we start early in the year, we start with a big foundational training and we work weekend by, by weekend, swimming dual meets and prepping for uh, literally the SEC championships. Uh, and then the SEC championships we use to try to qualify as many people as possible for the NCAA championships. So this is a premier part of our season. Uh, we've worked for the better part of seven, eight months now already uh, to try to get here. So we're excited about it and I think our, our team is ready. And in each of our segments, we're going to break it down day by day. And I know you guys have a great history, especially in some of the relays. Yep. First night, we've got the, the 200 medley relay and the 800 freestyle relay for our swimmers. Uh, and it's, it's one of those times where there's a lot of nerves and there's a lot of intensity and a lot of energy in the building. So we, we try as a coaching staff to corral that and, and kind of point it in the right direction. Um, traditionally, our 800 freestyle relays have been very, very strong for the men and for the women over the last few years. Um, this year, I believe our 200 medley on both the men's and women's side have a great opportunity uh, for the first time in a long time to have both uh, qualify for the NCAA championship. So we're excited about that. We're excited about um, the, the people that we have, the options that we have to put on that. We have a lot of decisions to make as a coaching staff, but that's a good problem to have. Where have you seen maybe some of your strengths? And you talk about still filling out the lineup, but whether in the relays, in it starts, finishes, middle, you know, where have you seen some of your strengths this year? Well, I think what you have to look, the, the medley relay is, is one of each stroke. Mm -hmm. And what we do have on both sides is we have a, a, a top level swimmer who is elite in, in, each, in each segment of the relay, men's and women's. And that's a hard thing to do um, when you're recruiting, you're really trying to build relays because relays are double points. They're where you build all your value in a championship meet. And so we try to build that through recruiting. And so um, we've got some great options this year. Our breaststrokers are always really good. When you look at the medley relays on the women's side, we have uh, Aubrey Higgs and Taylor Steele who have, have been uh, kind of elite this year. They've been excellent this year all year long. And on the men's side, Itay, uh, Itay Gofaden and uh, Lionel Coop, both breaststrokers. Lionel may actually swim the butterfly for us a couple of times. So like I said, we've got some decisions to make, but um, the strengths that we have, where we're our strongest, uh, it, it's, it's a good problem to have, having to try to find that right person to put in there. So. How much does it help having swimmers who have competed at this level or even in the NCAA championships before, as opposed to maybe some of the younger swimmers that it can be a little overwhelming when you get on this kind of stage. It can be really overwhelming. Uh, the, this is our, our SEC championships. We, it's a five-day meet, and uh, the energy is so high that by the end of the week, uh, our coaching staff is drained. We've got nothing left in the tank, and I can't imagine what, you know, what our swimmers are going through at that point. Some of them swim as many as 9, 10, 11 races. And so um, we, we try to... Uh, we, we try to keep that in perspective as we go along and we try to manage our athletes as best we can, put them in the right events, put them in the right relays, um, and we have, to, we have to make some calls. Sometimes you have to look at um, how a person's swimming on that day or how they performed in that event earlier in the meet to figure out where they're going to go. So um, that's kind of the thought process right now, but we do, have, uh, we do have a long meet ahead of us, but that's what we train all year for. Um, that's what we've been putting into our freshmen. That's what our upper class have been through before, so they know how to pour into our new, our new athletes, and, and hopefully, um, hopefully they adapt quickly because we're going to need them to be good. So. All right, we're going to break it down day by day with head coach McGee Moody. So, Coach, good luck on day one. Thank you. For Coach McGee Moody, I'm Brad Muller.